Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me your boot help guy and in this video I want to show you a few video editors you can use in Ubuntu and in Linux in general. So it's only three video editors and uh, the video editors um, I find the most, I guess not useful, but the most uh, well known video editors in Linux. So um, in this video I don't want to show you how you know the video editors work i don't want to go into all the specifics i just want to show you the three most used i guess so um let's just jump it in, jump into it so the first one is uh, called open shot video editor you probably already know this video editor um it's a basic video editor and you can find a lot of tutorials on youtube on how to use this but it's pretty damn easy uh, it's a simple video editor, like I said, and uh, nothing fancy. So let's say I want to add a video file, I just click this plus button, import files right here, and I add my video file. So uh, I can drag the video file to the timeline, and uh, I can change this uh, how many seconds I want to see, or how big I want to see the video file here. So uh, what you can do is that you can uh, resize the video file. And actually, let me just play a little bit of the video. It's just a normal video file you get uh, when you install Ubuntu. So you can resize and you can cut uh, the video file, like cut there and cut here. So it's a pretty basic and you have your normal cursor here. You can add a track also if you want that. You can split the audio and uh, we have a few uh, fade animations and rotate and layout and you can um, what's it called um, the mute the audio and stuff like that so uh, like i said we have a few transitions right here and effects and also what you can do is you can go to tile and you can uh, get a new animated tile uh, which means you can get your own 3d uh, title but uh, this requires that you have a uh, Blender installed. So, uh, like I said, it's just a normal basic video editor and I like it very much. I've used this several times within the few uh, past few years. So that is open shot. Now, uh, the next video editor I want to show you guys is uh, called PTV Video Editor. And uh, that is the video editor I use normally. So uh, I have a video on how to use this uh, video editor right here. And if you want to watch that video, I'll include an uh, annotation in the right top corner or something like that right now. So you can click that video and uh, I will go into the specifics that you can do. But uh, basically what you do right here is you click new and you choose your uh, video preset. So I'll select 720p. Uh, and I'll select actually 30 frames per second and you can also uh, change the audio presets okay and then uh, you click OK and uh, now you uh, click import files and right here I can import my file and just drag it onto the timeline there we go and I can hit play again by hitting space all right so um, when you install PTV, you don't have any effects or uh, uh, transitions. So uh, again, if you want to watch that video uh, I annotated before, then go ahead and watch that because I show you in that video how to get the um, transitions and effects and stuff like that. So yeah, it is a basic video editor again and uh, nothing fancy, but it gets the job done, which is uh, what I need. Um, so when you're done creating your video file and you also do this in OpenShot, you just hit render and uh, you can uh, select here uh, render presets but also you have uh, video presets it's set to uh, 1280 by 720 which was what we selected in the beginning so um, and then just hit render and that's all you have to do again pretty basic and uh, it but it just works all right, so uh, the last video editor I want to show you, or the third video editor, is called Kden Live. Now I never use Kden Live, at least not anymore. 
And uh, the reason for that is because the uh, program just crashes and gives me errors and stuff like that. Uh, but I will say it is a very nice video editor when it works. Um, you can do all kinds of animations and you know just advanced video editing in uh, Caden Live. So if you want to do advanced stuff, then go ahead and try Caden Live. Uh, I will say though it might give you errors and uh, crashes and stuff like that but when it works it works and it's a, it's a great advanced video editor so uh, again I will uh, go ahead and drag my file in the video editor right here and I can drag it down to the timeline we have a few uh, tracks here you can add a track if you want that you can mute the video you can play you can Let's see here, if I right click, I can split audio from uh, the video file. And we also have uh, effects and transitions. And actually, if I go to effect list right here, we can hit, uh, let's just try crop and transform. And right here, we have letterbox. So what I can do is I can drag this onto the clip. And we get letterbox right here, and you can... Uh, uh, select or change the border width and transparency and all that. You can do all kinds of 3D effects. Um, so so it's very nice. And actually, I'll play some of the video file right here. As you can see, we have the borders or the letterboxed function. Um, so uh, let's go back and try another thing right here. Let's try pixelize and drag that onto the clip and as you can see in the video file it gets really 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 uh, pixelized so um, if you want to try and I'm sure you can find a ton of uh, videos on YouTube on how to use Caden Live and how to get the most functions out of Caden Live and how to get all the advanced stuff uh, <laughs> I, I like I said I, I don't use Caden Live anymore but uh, when it works it's great and it's definitely very, very advanced. So that's it. The three most used video editors in um, in uh, Linux or Ubuntu. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Girl Scout.